Okay, only recently did I pick up a plug into the wall shop vacuum. Otherwise, I have been using this portable vacuum, which can suck the water out of a bucket far quicker than any broad you would find on the street. <laughs> But after picking up every single attachment I found at my two local hardware stores, I was close to giving up. Seriously, what are any of these attachments for? And the biggest smack in the face is that the hose end that fits into my vacuum fits onto my table saw. Why don't you just make them both the same size? Your three general vacuum hose diameters are two and a half, one and seven eighths, and one and one fourth. Do you guys say one and one fourth or one and one quarter? Apparently it's an American thing to say one and one fourth. Somebody told me in the comments. So let me know which one you use, quarter or uh, fourth. I remember this ridiculously idiotic clickbait DIY hack where you take a water bottle and shrink it onto a broken table leg and yay, you're a carpenter now. Um, which got me thinking, there is no bottle more durable than a Gatorade bottle. So I grabbed one of those, hacked off the top and grabbed my heat gun. The mouth, thread and bead of the bottle almost fit perfectly inside the hose end and a little heat and it snugs right inside. Avoid applying too much pressure or forcing the bottle inside the hose. This will permanently bend the bottle's shoulder, which you can see I had done with this one. And yes, you are going to learn the entire anatomy of a plastic bottle today, folks. Each part has its own name. Remove it from the hose, and as you can see, it fits loosely on your saw's vacuum port. Apply a little more heat, rotating the bottle so it shrinks evenly, and soon it will gently embrace the port in a warm, loving hug. And... You're done. Something we will not be diving deep into is dust collection versus vacuums. I have a vacuum and it removes majority of the dust and particles from my saws and sanders. Any filtration system is better than no filtration system. One disadvantage of dialing down your hose size is that you are more apt to clog your hose with debris from your saw, which is a nice thing that this is clear so you will be able to see if it stops going through the hose or it gets caught somewhere because this will fill up with sawdust or you'll also be able to know because my table saw kicks the sawdust back at me in a active rebellion when the hose is clogged so i know when it happens as well there are additional steps you can take to prevent your saw from clogging up like those little five gallon bucket thingies all in all they do make adapters you can buy online or probably in store but let's be honest, I get a little chuckle each time I hook my vacuum up using my modified Gatorade bottle. It is truly a engineering masterpiece. And it fits on my table saw, my band saw, my miter saw, and my belt sander. So just hit four of the tools all in one. There is some shots with this that have a shed in the background. You'll see a door and a shed. Uh, not to be confused, those are both gone now. I went and actually delivered that and assembled it today. That shed is going to be a video of ours. We have about 10 and a half hours to work through for editing. It was a super fun build. It also was made from the cedar pickets like we had made the planter boxes from. So it's relatively inexpensive, but that video is coming. Last time when I posted the planter box video, I was just trying to get to 400 subscribers and it's now well over 7,000. So hello everybody. Um, welcome to the channel and we will be pumping out some cool content. I got flip carts we're making, I got the shed video, we got some other cool stuff that's in the works, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that, and I appreciate y'all, and go make something.